Okay, so let's talk about units and scale. Uh, remember in earlier videos we talked about the size of the cube, that the cube is actually dimensions of 2 by 2 by 2, right? Uh, and that I was mentioning that uh, in Blender the default units are meters, okay? And so the reason uh, I said that is because it's true, but also because to kind of get us used to the idea that Blender is working in real world units. All right, and there's a reason for that. It's not just because of the uh, size of the cube or that I want things to be meticulously set to real world scale for the sake of that alone. There's uh, f f several reasons for that. And it's good to understand what those are. All right, so the first one would be like if we click on this light, okay, and we go over here to the light properties. You notice here there's a distance setting. Well, that's actually a real-world distance setting. That's 30 meters. That's the distance of how uh, far the light will shine before it starts to before it stops shining, basically. And that's fairly far. That's 30 meters. That's a, that's a good dis distance. But above it is this inverse square, and what that is is a mathematical curve from the brightest part of the light it goes really bright and then it falls off drastically and then sort of curves slowly off as it as it trails away so this is another subject but the point being that this is a real world physics calculation based on uh math that is 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 trying to uh simulate what's happening in the real world okay so some of these like energy that's not really a distance or anything that's just an energy of one that has no relation to real world units, but this does. And if you go over, click on the tube and uh, cube and go over to the physics tab, you'll see we can set various dynamics properties on this cube, right? And if we go one, two, three over, we go to the scene panel where these units are set up, the defaults are set up. And you can see down here, gravity is minus 9.81. All right, so that means that uh, something falls at that speed per second. 9.81 meters per second is how fast something will fall. That's a real physics calculation based on, on, on real world physics. Okay, So all these things tie in together. The distance of lights, gravity, uh, you know, various dynamics properties, you know, velocity, and all that stuff. Okay, So not that you can't play with those things, but for the most part you want to you know, model everything to scale and use real world scale. It's just better all the way around. All right, so now that's great for inside of Blender, but once we get outside of Blender, we need to understand that a little bit further because sometimes we might need to share assets with other programs. Okay, so now um, if you look down here under units, uh, the default is the meter. So if I set the length, right now it's set to none. This is just a display. Uh, item right here. If you set it, that's set to none, but if I set it to metric, now these uh, inputs start to mean something. Anytime there's a distance or a location, there's an M after it telling me that that's two meters, two meters, two meters, right? So that's the default uh, size of that. And now let's go out to uh, uh, to Lightwave Modeler and have a look over here. Uh, in uh, Modeler, there's a display option to set the units. So here it's set to metric, that's how I have this one set, but it could be set to English, feet, inches, and so on, and it could be set to metric meters and kilometers and all that, right? So we can change that here, uh, and then uh, this cube, actually I exported and imported from Blender. It's that 2x2x2 two by two by two cube. So here we are, set the metric, and then I go over here to modify more, and there's an absolute size uh, tool here and look at that it's saying it's two meters by two meters by two meters and so the reason for that is because blender and lightwave are tuned to the same scale meaning that this object by default is a meter as two meters by two meters because a meter in lightwave is also a meter in blender okay and so now it starts to get complicated because other than between uh Blender and Lightwave and a few other programs, scale becomes an issue. So let's get into this a little bit further detail uh, in the next video.